What's good, my goodness, good to some good babies, yes sir. What's good with you? What's good with you? Yes, sir. We're back at it again. You know what it is. You know what it is. We go talk about chapter five, baby. Let's get it in. Intro. Gooner on the sofa, proud of North London, gotta represent. And I'ma tell you one thing, watching games live always brings me closer. But I would rather watch at home on my sofa. Yeah, yeah. Chance is the name, football is the game. Gooners all day, you know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype, this is Gooner on the sofa. Gooner on the sofa, let's go. Real women love gooners. All right, people. So, as always, you know what it is. We are on chapter five. Yeah, chapter five is titled the um the strength in taking chances. Now, this ain't the longest of chapters, you know what I'm saying? So, it ain't gonna be that long. But again, again, the queen pulls at the heartstrings. God. Damn it, first and foremost, I'll dig deeper, but first and foremost, R.I.P. Uncle Mickey, you understand me? That's the prince, that's, that's the queen, the princess, you know, that's the queen's um uncle that she lost, you know what I'm saying? But, let's start at the top of the chapter, so, she just recently, she just recently signed for Birmingham, you know what I'm saying? Just recently signed for Birmingham, and... She wanted to make sure that she could prove Vic, that was the Arsenal manager at the time, Arsenal women manager at the time, that he was wrong in letting her go and basically not playing her and all them type of things there. Basically giving her the vibe that she isn't good enough, you know what I'm saying? But big up the the coach, trainer, whatever his actual title is at Birmingham. Um, Mr. Marcus, I can't remember his last name, but his first name is Marcus. Big him up, you know what I'm saying? He was over there. Selling dreams, like for real, for real, selling dreams for the women over there. So not only did he bring Alex in and tell her that yeah, we're gonna be going for titles, money's coming in, you know what I'm saying? The the men's team are now directing money over to the women's team, so there's gonna be a lot of moves happening, you know what I'm saying? They brought in Miss Rachel Yankee, they brought in another player, but I can't remember her name now. They so they brought in two Arsenal like legends, first starters type thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where Vic was going, but he was just letting people go. But Birmingham were picking them up also, picking up other people, picking up um, a goalkeeper that was fighting for the number one England spot at the time, you know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff was happening. So it was a nice little, was it Birmingham Re Re Revolution? Is you want to call that? A Birmingham Revolution was happening, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, to kick on, they really wanted to like, pick up trophies and them kind of things there. So Alex was happy where she was. She was happy getting the love that she was getting from the coach, from the club, from the players, you know what I'm saying? It was a nice... It was a nice, nice look. You know what I mean? But at the same time, she digs into that. Although her father drank a lot, don't get that twisted. Her mother's side was also heavy drinkers as well. Yeah? She remembers going to Turkey when she was about 13, 14, I think it was. And there was about 20 to 25 of them, all family members in the resort. You know what I'm saying? Getting waved up. You know what I'm saying? So everyone was sipping, doing the do's, doing it what it was. But the one that sticks out for her is, I'm um, paraphrasing, her favourite uncle. You know what I'm saying? Her uncle Mickey. He was a Newcastle fan. You know what I'm saying? So he loved football. So he loved that she played football. Um, always talked to her about the magpies. Like, chewed her ear off. Luckily, that didn't turn her into a magpie. She stayed a gooner forever. You know what I mean? But... That aside, he was a he was an alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? And they tried to, you know, you know how you do with alcoholics, you try to like help them, manage them, you know what I'm saying, and try and get into their brain that you love them, you want them around for longer. And also he had a daughter, I think it was an only daughter named Kelly. I think again, favourite cousin of um Alex and Oh, it's just sad times that so he went he went through ups and downs as alcoholics do, you know what I'm saying? He went through ups and downs, like go a couple years sober and then boom, he'd drink. I think he fell off the wagon one time having a Guinness at his partner's birthday bash and he was already ready. He was already ready with a, an excuse that you can argue with. So when he had that Guinness and fell off the wagon, he was like, the doctor said, I've been doing so well for so long, one won't hurt, right? Even though 
doctors don't say that, especially to an alcohol an alcoholic. But they let that ride because it was worded so well. Like, what can you say? So they let him do what he's gonna do. They let him do him. Um, after a while, he started. Sorry, brain fart. After a while, he started being off and on again, off and on again. Like going going well for a while, then back on. Going well for a while, then back on. Um, I'm not sure if it was another uncle of hers that wanted that uncle to move down to London so he could like be his support system just in case anything goes wrong and he feels like he's gonna fall off the wagon again. But Uncle Mickey is Newcastle until he dies. He ain't leaving that place right there. That's his town, his city. He ain't never leaving. So it was out of the question that he was gonna make that move, you know what I mean? But um, going back to Alex now, yeah, so she's dealing with all that in her head while still trying to maintain her career and stay fit and all them kind of things there. So, two twos, um, Birmingham have a game. They have a game on a Sunday and Marcus, Marcus, the coach, the manager, pulls her to the side and says, yo, listen, I need a favour from you, basically, right? I need you to play right back, right? The position that we know Alex for, but she's a midfielder in the, at this time in her career. But she's like, he's like, I need you to play right back, right? And when she has a little, like, what are you talking about on her face? He's like, now nah, listen, I know, I know you're a midfielder and all that, but I need you to do this for me today. You know what I'm saying? Just do what you do. And the reason why she was a midfielder, she says, is that because she was super fit. You know what I'm saying? You know about that from the the previous chapters, how she got to be super fit because she wouldn't be able to make certain certain grades and she wouldn't get called up to England and all that two twos now two twos after that game which he did not tell her marcus didn't tell her miss hope aka miss hope powell the england manager the female england manager was watching the game two twos she got a call up miss alex got a call up the day after yeah she got a call up to the the senior women's england squad yeah and they were going to go to play a couple of games i can't remember who the second game was against but the first one was going to be against the netherlands right so two twos her mum phones her right and she can hear from the crackle in her mum's voice this ain't gonna be good news right this ain't gonna be good news bang uncle mickey is in hospital intensive care type thing you know what I mean? The brother's turning yellow and all that because his kidneys are failing, all them kind of stuff. There, everything is kicking in. You know what I'm saying? From all the years of drinking, everything is all catching up with his body now. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. So she's got that to deal with. So while she's taking that in, she's like, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bring up this England call up thing because obviously my mum's in a way. Her brother is, is on his way out basically. You know what I'm saying? So she hung up on all that. That goes by, and now she's thinking, yo can't be doing this you know what I mean I can't be going on can't be going to go play no football gotta be with my mum you know what I'm saying gotta be with my mum and I'll go and pay respects to my uncle simple dimples you know what I'm saying I get that mindset straight off the bat so now I can't remember exactly if she goes and tells Marcus and um, hope that she can't do it because she needs to be at the funeral on the same day of the first game that she's meant to play for England so it's like she can't do it. I'm not sure if she says that or she's just thinking it out loud, like at home. Two twos. Her mum phones again. And this time, sure, but her mum phones again or she phones her mum. And this time she lets her know about the Inga call up. And her mum is like, Are you mad? You get me? Are you mad? So it's basically what she was telling her mum is like, Yeah, I'm going to cancel that. Tell them I can't go to that because I need to go to my uncle's funeral and be by my mother's side. And her mum's like, Nah, you're chatting fart blood, basically. You're chatting far out here. Mickey loved football. He loved that you played football. There's no way you're going to come with me when he's going to be with you at the game. So don't come be with me because he's going to go be with you. Love that. I got goose pimples reading that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my days. So bottom line is, as Alex says it in the book, is her mum and Uncle Mickey made that decision for her. Bing, bang, bosh. So we at the game now. You know what I'm saying? We at the game now. First half done, nil nil. You know what I'm saying? They go in. Powell has her talk. You know what I mean? And then as she's finishing her speech and what they gotta do when they gotta do it, she's like, yo, Alex, get your shins on, girl. It's time to get dirty, baby. Time to get dirty. You know what I'm saying? And then walks out. Bro, it's not even a 
Like, are you okay to go? No, get your shins on. You're starting. Let's rock. You know I me? Mean? Alex there with the <gasps> puzzled face like, oh my God, what, me? Assistant manager's like, yeah, man, not look so shocked. Get right, put your shins on. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Now, I don't remember the the result of the game at the end, right? But it was her first cap for England. She did dedicate that first cap to her uncle, to her uncle Mickey. Also, she lets it be known that she, to this day, she still doesn't have her shirt that she wore on that day. Doesn't have the shirt. She might have a shirt, but she doesn't have the shirt that she wore. She signed it and she gave it away. She gave it to someone. I don't know if it was a teacher, if it was her first coach. I think it might have been her first football coach who told her that she's going to make it. And one day she will play for England. And one day she will be great. You gonna dig me? So that was her thank you to that person for believing in her so much and kept her going, you know what I'm saying? Even more so when she took a little dip after Arsenal and then went to Birmingham, you know what I'm saying? And revitalized the career right there. You know what I mean? It's a little sad as a gooner myself, you know what I'm saying? And she is a gooner queen. Let's get nothing twisted. I don't care where she played for, who she played for, you know what I mean? Because we're going to get into when she comes back, baby. You know what I'm saying? When she comes back and does wonders. So, you know what I mean? Vic, me and you are like that right now, brother. Me and you are like that right now. Yeah, man. Don't don't insult the queen. But sometimes you have to go on a journey to come back to show what it is. You know what I'm saying? But that was basically it, guys. That is basically it for chapter five. You know what I'm saying? Go get the book, man. Go get the book. You know what I mean? So this will be coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, guys, now on Patreon. So come and support a brother two tiers to do it you can do it uh being a got supporter for one pound or you could do it for being got's gang member with loads of benefits coming up and i'm saying for three pound that's less than what 10p a day or it is 10p a day and i'm saying so show that love people we here we build in 2023 is now literally the first of january 2023 it's my first video that i did this year you know the dig me so shout out to miss Scott, don't have Doug Dizzle, love the book, learning more about you, liking you even more, you know what I'm saying, so let's do this people, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one, chapter 6 baby, chapter 6 baby, uh, I'm out of here, stay good, stay blessed. Guna on the sofa, the pride of North London. <laughs> Come on. Shout out to my gooners, gooners, let's see gooners, babies. Make sure you subscribe. Woo! Gooners all day, you know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype, this is Gooner on the sofa. Woo!